All right, boys and girls, welcome to the drive-thru. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. For many of you, this is your first experience uh, in this little flipped adventure that we're going to call Math in the Cinovation Lab. Uh, these videos are made to help you. Do not let me read for you and do not let me think for you. It will be in your worst interest to have adults do that for you. The point of school is that you learn to do those things for yourself, and I think this little process is going to really help with that. So hopefully you've read this first page on your first module of Algebra 1. And uh, we'll go through Part A here, and I'll help you through the answer. But if you haven't, I want you to pause this video. This is always how this should work. Read it, and come up with your own answer on this one. And, uh, and then you can use the video to see how you did. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but let's just start. It says to use some uh, strategies. So let's just start by counting the outside ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's 16 on the outside. Okay, And then if I use pink, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 on the inside. So there are 28 colored tiles. And it says, it says, be prepared to share your strategy and justify your work. So I would say that I counted the inside, counted the inside, and I, and I added them. That's how I did it. Okay, nothing too complicated. Okay, now, this is part B. Again, if you haven't read this, then I want you to pause the video and read it. And this is the entire goal of algebra. Look for a pattern, use that pattern to make a prediction, and use that prediction to save myself time and money. Be more efficient because of the math. So it's asking you, if you had n by n, how many would you have? Well, for 5 by 5, we had 28 colored tiles. So I didn't really know how to do this. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did this wrong the first time. So what I needed to do was I just needed to just, to, just try some things, kind of guess and check. So let's see what it would look like for a 3 by 3 inside. So now our n has turned to 3 by 3. It's a little smaller. And let's just use these to s symbolize the colored dots. Or the colored blocks. OK, so that pattern worked pretty well. And so then now in here, we'd have this one, and this one, and that one, and that one, and that one and that one, and that one. So notice in this one, we actually had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 on the outside. And let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the inside. So I started looking for patterns that involved outside and inside, and I just couldn't find anything that um, related to n directly that I could explain to you guys that wasn't too complicated. So then I took a different approach. I went back and I noticed that on this picture, no matter how many n's, no matter how many uh, the length of our inside block, whether it's 5 by 5, 3 by 3, or 100 by 100, there's always going to be these four sets of two in the corner. And so then I went back and I wanted to apply that. So if you just look at this one, this one, so that's 4 times 2 in the corner. Okay, And then look what we have inside. Or look what we have not in the corner. 3, 3, 3, 3. So that's 4 times 3, 
for the other ones. And notice that this still adds up to 8 plus 12. So then we got 24 total either way. So then I went back and I said, well, what would this one look like? Well, you'd have We still have 4 times 2 for the corner, so now I'm starting to see a pattern. But what did we have for the rest? Okay, let's see, look. 5 there, 5 there, 5 there, and 5 there. You had 4 times 5 for the others. Mm, and notice that still adds up to 28. So now, I think I've got my pattern. Okay? I think there's going to be always um, 4 times n of the others plus 4 times 2 for the corners. So, I think my expression for the number of colored border tiles needed by an n by n squared center is 4n plus 8 equals colored tiles. But again, whether or not you got that or whether or not yours is exactly like that, it's not the most important thing of the lesson. The most important thing of the lesson is that you have read, that you understand the words that you have read, and that you have thought and made a decision, even if your de decision brought you to the wrong answer. It's no problem at all. Now, the way this works from here on out is you're going to do more of a traditional assignment. So you will now go through and work through these problems should take you between 15 and 40 minutes. And when you're done, make sure you check your answers. Anything that you got wrong or that you did not understand, you should schedule a time or find me, and we will talk about it. And this is how the process works. Um, focus more on understanding than speed, and have a great day. Boom!